using shorthand notation, this is this. We want to find the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x goes to 0. So we just substitute in for what delta y over delta x is. We've already found that. The general formula for the difference quotient is this, 2 minus 2x of 0 minus delta x. That's the general formula. So we want to find the limit of this. Excuse me, I need to back, I need, I forgot to put in limit. Two x two minus two x of zero minus delta x. The limit of that is delta x goes to zero. Okay. And what is the limit of that expression in brackets as delta x goes to zero? Anybody? Speak up. Rebecca, yeah, it's just 2 minus 2x. Or x, we're using x of 0 here, so uh, it's just 2 minus 2x of 0. That is the limit of the difference quotient as delta x goes to 0. The delta x just drops out in the limit as delta x goes to 0. It drops out in the limit. Okay. This we call what? What's another name for this uh, limit of the difference quotient as delta x goes to zero? The derivative. It's just the definition of the derivative. So this is just dy dx. This is the derivative, dy dx. And uh, Rebecca, you said the limit of the difference quotient is 2 minus 2x. Your answer is really right. We're putting the zero subscript here. But the initial value of x could be anything. So you really don't need, it's kind of a crutch to help you understand it better, but you don't really need that x sub 0 anymore. Uh, really, the derivative is just 2 minus 2x. Since x sub 0 could be anything, uh, you could just write it more generally, uh, 2 minus 2x. OK. All right, uh, evaluate f prime of 0 and illustrate it in your sketch. Well, we really have already done that. f prime of 0 is the point slope. Oh, excuse me. All right, take it back. We haven't done that yet. f prime of 0 is the slope at x equals 0. What I was showing you here is f prime of 1. f prime of 1 is this slope right here f prime of 0 would be this. We'd have to draw the tangent line to the function at x equals 0. And if we draw that tangent line, it would just be the line that just touches the curve at this point, the tangent line. And uh, that is the slope of this. Tangent line is uh, equal to uh, f prime of 0. Now, f prime of 0 is what? 2. If x equals 0, uh, the derivative is 2. So the slope of this line is equal to 2. The point slope of the function at x equals 0 is equal to 2. What that means intuitively is that x equals 0 at that point on the function, at that point, the rate of change of y with respect to x is 2. Okay. The instantaneous sort of rate of change of y with respect to x at that point is equal to 2. 